Welcome back to I Teach. For this video, we will be focusing on finding the median of a list of numbers. Finding the median tells the middle value in a list of numbers. In our previous video, we learned how to find the mean of a list of numbers, and we will need that same skill in this video. Let's look at the steps to finding the median. Step one, arrange numbers in ascending order. Ascending order means from small to big. Step two depends on whether you have one middle number or two. If you have one middle number, you will choose that middle number as your median. If you have two middle numbers, you will find the average of the two middle numbers. Let's see how it works. Number one, the scores are eight, three, and 10. Step one says, arrange those numbers in order from smallest to biggest. So we're gonna start with three because three is the smallest, then eight, then 10. I like to use the bridge effect. The bridge effect helps me to find the middle number very easily. Three bridges with eight. But eight does not have a number to bridge with. So that means eight is our middle number. Because eight stands alone, we're just gonna choose that as our median. So our median here is eight. Pretty easy, huh? Let's look at number two. Seven, three, six, four, and nine are our scores. Step one says arrange those numbers in ascending order. Let's do it. The smallest number is three. So we have three, then four, then six, then seven, then nine. I use the bridge effect to find the middle number. So let's bridge these numbers together. Three will bridge with nine. Four will bridge with seven. But six does not have a number to bridge with. Six stands all alone, and because of that, we will choose it as our middle number. Six is our median. Let's look at number three. The scores in number three are six, five, two, one, and one. We have to arrange these in order from smallest to biggest. The smallest number here is one, and we have two ones, so we have to keep both ones. One, one, then two, five, and six. And now it's time to bridge our numbers. One and six, one and five, but two stands alone. So we will choose that middle number as our median. Isn't it amazing how math skills build on each other? If you didn't know how to arrange numbers in ascending order, how would you have been able to find the median? Let's move to number four. Oh, I'm missing a number for number four. Let's put a number there. I think I wanted three there. Let's do that. Okay. The first step is to arrange these numbers in ascending order. The first number should be one, that's our smallest number. Then three, then seven, then 12. Now we're gonna bridge the numbers. One and 12 will bridge. These two will bridge. But guess what? That means we have no middle number. So what then do we do? Hmm. Remember at the beginning I said if you have two middle numbers, you have to find the average. Our two middle numbers here are seven and three. So we're gonna put a box around them because they are two middle numbers. Do you remember how to find the mean? If you don't, feel free to go back and watch the video on how to find the mean. To find the mean, first we have to add the numbers together. So we're adding three and seven. Three plus seven is 10. Then we have to divide that by how many numbers? Two numbers. What is 10 divided by two? You are correct, five. So five will be our median. Where am I going with 15? 
maybe 15 calling me. All right, so five is our median. Again, let's go over that. We arrange them in order. We found that we had two middle numbers, so we added them together to get 10, and we divided it by two, and that's how we got five. Let's see what number five has for us. We have some bigger numbers here in number five. We have 12, eight, 15, six, one, and four. Let us arrange these in ascending order. The smallest number is one. One, then four, then six, then eight, then 12, then 15. And now we're gonna use our bridging effect to find the middle number or numbers. One bridges with 15, four bridges with 12, six and eight bridge together. So that means we have two middle numbers. What do we do with the two middle numbers? Find the average. How do we find the average? We add them together, six plus eight, If you got 14, you are correct. 14 has to be divided by two. I know you know those two timetables. So what number times two gives us 14? You are correct, seven. So seven is our median. Let's now look at number six. We have the scores 11, 10, 3, 2, 11, and 6. Let's arrange them in order from smallest to biggest. 2, 3, 6, 10, 11, and 11. What do we do now? Bridge the numbers. I should have made bridge the numbers a step, shouldn't I? Well, let's go. 2 and 11, 3 and 11. Six and 10 would be partners, but because they are the two in the middle, we are going to find the average or the mean of them. So we're gonna add six and 10. What is six plus 10? You are correct, 16. 16 is gonna be divided by two. What number times two gives you 16. Eight, very good. So eight will be our median. I believe that you have got this skill. I believe that you have this mashed, you have this ingrained, you're gonna kill it, you're gonna get it anytime you get a question on median. So now we've mastered mean, and I know that you've mastered this, median. The next video coming is going to be on finding the mode. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, and share to look out for more upcoming videos. Bye!